We're here in the coastal shores of Florida for the Miami Grand Prix, which has become the 11th Formula One track held in the United States. The grandstands are packed for what we hope is going to be another fantastic race. With great opportunities for wheel-to-wheel -wheel battles featuring 19 corners, 3.36 miles long, and expected average speeds of 138 miles an hour, the Miami International Autodrome will be sure to create lots of chances to overtake. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Johansson lines up on pole position, and it's Charles Leclerc in P2. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Verstappen, Russell, Hamilton, Norris, Fernando Alonso, Oscar Piastri, Perez, Albon, Gasly, Stroll, Ocon, Joe, Sonoda, Magnussen, Bottas, Holkenberg, Sargent, and Daniel Ricciardo fills the last spot on the grid. And now it's time to head down to the track. It's race day yet again, and joining me for a chat is Anthony Davidson. And our racers are certainly in for a rough day today. What will you be watching out for as they head into turn one? Well, the start of the race is always one of the most nerve-wracking parts. You have to hope that everyone is able to get off to a clean start, and this is possibly the trickiest part of the entire race. So many drivers in such a small space, and finding your breaking point into turn one as well. It's a testament to the driver's skill that there aren't more incidents. After the points finished last race, let's aim to keep that momentum going. How's it guys and welcome to Miami. This is uh, Formula 1 23 and the next race, I think this is race number 5 or 4, something like that. And uh, the season is carrying on like usual it should. But um, it's getting on fast as we are in first place in Drivers Championship and in the Manufacturers Championship. So let's get into it. Um, I've qualified in first place again, about two seconds ahead of my teammate in second, and uh, it's going to be an awesome race, awesome race. We had, we had to qualify yesterday in the wet, but today doesn't look like there's any rain around, which is good for the race, good for us. So yeah, let's get into it, and I hope you guys enjoy this one. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe, please like the video, we'd really appreciate it, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Let's get this going. Okay, we're monitoring somewhere on the internal combustion engine. Be aware that we're going to start to see a loss of power. I don't know, I can see some damage on my engine, but when I checked earlier, it was uh, the gearbox. Now he's saying something about the internal combustion engine. Let's just hope we can make it through this race. We'll be able to check what the problem is.
I'll have to go back and check what happened to Charles Clover. Lost the position to Verstappen. Or if he just got a bad start or Verstappen passed him, so we'll have to go back and check that one. My engine does not look very happy at the moment. The lights are orange color there. We'll have to check out after the race. I just hope that the engine can last until the end of this race. So we're gonna end up losing some valuable points. Okay, we're looking at some gearbox wear, so try to keep the number of shifts to a minimum, please. Okay, final lap, let's go, final lap.
are superb driving. That is the race win, my friends. Well done. Yeah, okay, so luckily I made it to the end. The engine held out as well as the gearbox here there. I've got a gearbox problem as well. So at least you've got, it, we've got the points in the bag. Yeah. Going towards the championship, heading towards the championship. What do you think it was that sealed the win for them? I feel like consistency was probably the key today. There's being quick and then there's being quick lap after lap after lap. If you can do that, you can capitalize on other people's errors without making many of your own. And that's an approach that can push you a long way up the field. Here come our winners now, a thrilling race and a tremendous effort by Ferrari. Their history is well known, so it's no surprise to fans the world over to see them come out on top once again. So you got the first, first and the third. Not max points, but uh, it's good. It's up there. At least it'll keep, it'll keep us ahead of Mercedes. Celebration time. Have to keep us ahead of Mercedes in the points, and we're keeping you in Charles right up there with the, with the driver championship as well. <clears throat> Hope you guys Let's enjoyed have a this quick one. Look at how the driver's standings have changed. Johansson check, uh, increases their championship lead. Some amazing talent out on the track today. But Anthony, who would you pick as your driver of the day? I have to give it to you, Hansen. It's time to check out the constructors' standings. Ferrari continue to extend the gap at the top Let's of the look table. At the standings. After an event like that, who knows what yeah, the sport has in store uh, for us next time out. Be sure Shaw. to join us once again as we continue and, uh, to bring you all the excitement uh, of Formula One. Constructors' championship. We're ahead of Mercedes with 84 points, which is good. To be getting there. Like I said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, if you are new to the channel, please subscribe and please like it. It'll really help me out. The channel's been going for a while and I would really appreciate you supporting me with, uh, with this. Thanks a lot, guys, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.